Hi everyone, welcome to Friday Fix. We're going to talk about flighting your wedges a little bit lower. Uh, both of these shots were about a 25 yard carry. Both of these were hit with a 58 degree. Both of them were hit pretty darn close to center. Both of them with a negative attack angle, although the pitcher on the right has a little bit higher. Both of them with similar spin rates, over 6,000. Both of them hit with a premium ball uh, in an indoor uh, setting. Both of them with similar club head speeds, close to uh, 37 miles per hour. So the big difference between the two is landing angle. Uh, the one on the right is the ball's coming in at a, a lower flighted shot at a 30 degree landing angle and the one on the left is a higher shot coming in at a steeper angle at six more degrees at 36. So the ball on the swing on the right is going to definitely bounce a little bit more forward. You'll hear the announcers talk about flighting the ball to take spin off the ball but in this case the one on the right actually has higher spin uh, the ball is bouncing forward because less dynamic loft at impact 43 degrees lower landing angle the one on the left has a high dynamic loft at almost 52 degrees which is producing a little higher shot the other difference between the two swings is more down the line. The pitcher on the left, I'm doing a slice swing, an outside to in swing. My stance is slightly open. You can see the swing path or club path is minus 10 degrees. You can see I'm lifting the club out and up. A little bit of it has to do with my body is open in relation to the camera, but I am purposely taking it out with an open stance and across the ball. I'm also keeping the face open as it comes through or skyward. It's forcing me to make a much bigger follow through even though I have similar club head speeds. So my club path is minus 10 degrees with the face open uh, in relation to that path uh, 10 degrees. If you hit that shot with the driver, you'd hit a pretty big slice. The pitcher on the right is more of a draw swing. My club path is almost zero, slightly in to out. My face is closed two degrees in relation to that, which is a draw swing. And that's taking, that's coming through with uh, less loft on the club, which is flighting the ball lower, producing the lower landing angle. Interesting, a lot of people think that the outside to in swing is going to produce a high attack angle, where my inside to out swing with a closing club face actually has a higher attack angle. So I would work on trying to uh, flight those wedges a little bit lower uh, through getting a good inside-out swing with a closing club face. Hope that helps.